to the next project. Today we're going to be learning about a couple of new blocks and let's go ahead and get started with a cylinder this time. I know many of you are shocked, but I think you'll be okay. We didn't change anything about this, not really, but we are going to do the traditional moving it up. I think by now we have this memorized, so let's just go ahead and get started. I think 10 would be the right one. Let's check it out. It appears and it moves up 10. We're going to need something a little bit bigger than this. So let's go ahead and make this radius of 20. Let's try that. Much better. Great. So here's what we're going to do. First of all, let's go ahead and rename this. I'm going to name it Dark Side. I would like you to name yours Code Block 4 because this is the fourth tutorial. All right, so this is where we're going to introduce the next one, the, well, the next block. And let's go ahead and put a sphere right there. And what we're going to do, well, let's see what it looks like when we have the sphere and this thing together. I don't think it's big enough to be seen, so let's make it bigger. Let's say 20. And there it is, sticking out at the bottom. So let's go ahead and move that up as well. I guess we can duplicate that one. Well, I duplicated the whole thing. Don't want that. And let's see what that looks like. All right, that is weird enough. <laughs> Actually, I don't really want it like that. Now, the shape you're going to be using is a cone for your project. Here's what we're going to do today that's a little bit different. We're going to be grouping things. We're going to make that one transparent. All right, so obviously you can't see it because it's transparent. It's going to make a hole in there. But to create the hole, you're going to want to create a group. When you do that at the end, should work. Let's see. And now you have made a hole. Finally, we have found the ring. That's right. Let's go throw it in a lake of fire. Okay, so with you, you're obviously going to use the shape that I wanted you to uh, use before. And I also want you to make that one brown. Yes, a brown cone. And I would like you to put a cylinder through it, a transparent cylinder through it. But for those of people who aren't actually listening, let's go ahead and add this. And we're going to rotate it first. Oh, that's going to be nice. I'm going to rotate it by, let's see what that looks like. Wow, that is beautiful. While we're at it, let's change the color too. Now, mind you, all I want you to do is put two shapes together, one being transparent and the other being a purple cone. No, I'm sorry, a brown cone. What do we do? Change the colors? Yeah, let's set the color. Although it is a good color for a ring. Oh yes, that's beautiful. All right, that's great. So here's the other thing I'd like you to do, and that is when you're sharing with me your animated GIF, make sure that the subject of your email says, it's Friday. That would be really good. So for me, of course, it's gonna show me this. You know your two shapes already that you wanna to put together. And it's gonna ask me where I wanna save it. Ooh, dark side. You already know what you're gonna name yours. Actually, I put mine in coding right here. Don't forget about the little carrot, show and finder. And of course, you're going to drag that to your email that's already open and ready to send. I think we're good. Have a good day.